last year it saves us over $68,000. Somewhere in the neighborhood of three to $4,000 a month. In the five years, we've more than paid for it. They're delivering what they promised. CHP is combined heat and power, and it's also known as cogeneration. Cogeneration is the simultaneous use of heat from electric power production. One of these units, while well, making 75 kilowatts, can produce 30 tons of air conditioning as a free byproduct. How we cogenerate is we use a natural gas driven engine that's coupled to a generator making electricity while simultaneously using the heat off the engine to produce heat for domestic hot water and space heating in a commercial building. It's really getting two utilities for the price of one. We've been a partner with Yankee Gas over the last 25 years to promote cogeneration in their sales territory. And they brought us to a number of customers that they thought cogeneration would help reduce their energy costs. For particular sizes, we work with Aegis Energy in order to provide people that don't need a whole lot of electricity, but they need the thermal output. This type of technology gives them the thermal output they need for that size facility and also gives them the offset of the electric. There's a natural fit here where we can uh, generate increased gas load for Yankee Gas, which is a win-win relationship where we can promote our product while they generate more gas sales. Connecticut also takes, takes these technologies very seriously. There is a gas retail delivery charge rebate, which rebates back the retail delivery charges to these type of cogeneration units. Gas used for cogeneration is sold at a different discounted rate that's another attractive value for cogeneration. Our customers today consist of nursing homes, senior housing, housing authorities, health clubs, retirement communities, assisted living, and generally they are facilities that require extensive amount of heat over long periods of time as well as electricity. Our type of application given the type of energy and the amount of water that we use, it's a perfect fit. We're very interested, obviously, as a nonprofit in saving as much money as we can, and we also, as good citizens, want to uh, be as green as we can. It's basically a light green technology, using all of the molecule to create two energy sources, both your thermal needs and your electric needs, therefore maximizing the efficiency. As part of the Bradley Home installation, Molly Savard's facility, their savings were far greater than what they had expected. And I think she's been a happy uh, customer of ours for several years now, and we use her as, a, as an asset for us in selling future projects. Many of the nonprofit entities could not come up with the money, which is one of the reasons that we started our shared savings program, where we put in a system totally at our cost to the facility and sell them energy at a discount. Through the years, the system is amortized and the customers can eventually own that system. It's been very beneficial to us. Uh, it's a, a small unit, it's relatively quiet. Last year it saves us over $68,000, so I definitely notice that on my bottom line. It's a win-win both for the customer because they're saving energy costs and they're using the most out of each molecule of energy. It's a win for Yankee because we get to provide the clean natural resource that's provided from North America, which is natural gas. And also we're providing them with a supplier that has a proven track record. The systems exist today that have been running 25 years of continuous gas supply. And what we expect in the future is that both Aegis and Yankee Gas will continue to supply gas and reduced energy costs to their customers.